Miss Noggins' class was the calmest class in the school, although you could hear her shouting quite often. Her full name was Katie Marie Noggins. On a cold Tuesday morning on December 1st, Miss Noggins' class was not as calm as usual, but to Miss Noggins, her class was jolly. Register! Miss Noggins screamed. Everybody quickly drifted off to their seats and sat as still as stone. Alfie! called Miss Noggins. Here! Alfie squeaked back. Angelina! shouted Miss Noggins. Morning! Angelina replied really chill, though she was shivering. By the time Miss Noggins got to E on the register, I had already gone to the toilet six times. It went on forever. Finally, she got to my name. Zoe, are you here? Yes, I called back. Okay then, Miss Noggins cheered. Let's start our day. Suddenly, a shadow crept over the room. The last thing I remember was screaming and then being knocked out. The memory is still fuzzy. When I woke up, I was lying on cold, damp grass. I opened my eyes, and when my vision got clearer, I saw that I was in a forest alone. That's what I thought, but you never know what might be in a forest. I got up, shivering. I searched the woods for a while and found a cave, which I managed to rest in only for a while. I noticed the cave was filled with bats and flies. That's when I realized I was not alone. A few meters away from the cave, I found Miss Noggins. She was knocked out cold on the forest floor. I managed to get her up and make her sit on a rock. She mumbled something, probably in a different language because I couldn't understand her. When Miss Noggins was fully awake, she did something unexpected. She ran around an oak tree three times and sat on the rock again. When I figured out what was wrong with her, I knew I was doomed. Miss Noggins had amnesia, which means she couldn't remember anything. I figured that out by asking Miss Noggins for her name. She replied, I don't know. The next thing that happened was, well, not happy. Miss Noggins and I found a bigger and flatter rock to sit on. We sat there, shivering, when the rock slowly lifted up. I looked down and saw a giant underneath, and I mean a giant. The giant was 30 feet tall. From the waist up, he had scaly green skin and a pair of huge, shocking eyes. From the waist down, the giant was a snow leopard. Hello, the giant said in a deep grumble. <laughs> Hi, I said nervously. Miss Noggins was behind me mumbling something about a bill? Don't worry, the giant grumbled. I am a good giant, and my name is Archie. Okay, so do you think you could help my friend here? I asked politely. He replied, yes, it would be difficult, but yes, I can. Suddenly, the forest became dark, and the only light came from the giant's hand. He chanted, you have amnesia, now I know. Here is something I want to show. You better be gone by the time I finish, or word will spread that you are finished. Wow, can you do us one more favor? I asked the giant desperately. After another chant, Miss Noggins and I were back in the class at Beverly Hills Middle School.